With raiders vying for land and the Brotherhood of Steel eradicating any and all since, the Commonwealth is a dangerous place full of strife. They say, war. War never changes. Unless you've got mods, that is. I'm Jacob with the Leaderboard, and today we're looking at how you can change the fictional land of post-nuclear annihilated Boston with some Fallout 4 mods that totally transform the game. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click that bell icon to become part of our notification squad. <laughs> Another life, alternative start. What better way to start our foray into crazy game-changing Fallout 4 mods than with the Another Life Alternative Start mod? This one is a Bethesda game staple. In Skyrim, the alternate start mode would allow you to skip the entire intro with the cart ride and then Alduin ruining the party. In Fallout 4, Another Life Alternative Start lets you ditch the obligations of parenthood and start in lore-friendly situations. That's right, Sean, step aside. Your parent has more important matters to attend to, like collecting 200 rolls of duct tape. With this mod, you start by choosing one of 30 different occupations. Each occupation comes standard with a unique set of gear appropriate to the theme you choose. They also come equipped with a cool perk and start out in a totally different location. Sanctuary Hills? <laughs> More like, now you have Sanctuary from being saddled in Sanctuary. Ah, never mind. All right, all right. So you do still have to go through some of the pre-war section of the game, but this segment is all part of the illusion. Your character is seeing it as part of a memory simulation while your synth body is created. After choosing your class, you'll be planted into your chosen profession without knowing that you were ever a synth to begin with. If you're a lawyer, for example, you'll start out in General Atomics. This choice comes with a nice business suit and a helpful speech perk to go along with it. If spouting law and proving alibis is in your gym, maybe you'd rather be the legendary Silva Shroud, a submachine gun toting comic book hero. Playing as this hero grants 50% less damage while sprinting. And if for some reason you still do want to be Sean's parent, there's an option for you too. You can choose to be a stay-at-home parent, beat raiders and ghouls alike with your rolling pin. The choice is yours, but this mod truly expands the role-playing aspect of the game and gives you a few extra goodies along the way. Character Costume Mods Since we're talking about characters, let's check out a few pop culture favorites. Why not explore apocalyptic Boston as the classic Fallout character, Darth Vader? Playing as Mr. Vader actually comes in a mod called the Darth Vader Armor with Havoc Cloth Physics. The mod lets you craft his armor and rampage through the wasteland as the Star Wars icon. Don't forget to add a lightsaber mod to fully embrace your role as Darth Vader. If you're scoffing at Star Wars though, then give the StarCraft-themed Kerrigan bodysuit a whirl. The Kerrigan bodysuit mod lets you take the role of a StarCraft ghost. You might not be slaying any Zerg, but at least you'll look awesome and strike fear into the heart of your enemies. Except possibly Deathclaws. But maybe you want to play as some characters a bit closer to home, like some Fallout 4 NPCs. For a little bit of extra variation, you can become a synth with the playable synths mod. Now you too can finally experience the internal struggle of being a manufactured robot. Philosophical struggle, here we come! With different types of synth bodies to choose from, you can live out your robotic fantasy. Maybe you'd rather enjoy some time as man's best friend, though. Or more specifically, the best friend that's accompanied you for the duration of Fallout 4, Dogmeat. Using the Be the Dog mod, any player can play as Dogmeat. Upgrading from faithful companion to playable character changes a ton. Not only does this mod completely change your appearance, but it also changes your attacks. You know, because dogs can't shoot guns, obviously, but they do have a nice pair of chompers. As Dogmeat, you have access to four different bite attacks. You won't miss out on the role-playing either. Even as dog meat, you can still use your Pip-Boy and talk to people as a dog. If you don't like dog meat's look, you've got a whole kennel at your disposal. You can play as dog meat, a Rottweiler, or even one of those mongrels. Ugh, look at it. It's gross. Frost. Alright, now how about a literal game changer? Looks like someone wished for a nuclear winter because Frost not only transforms the gameplay of Fallout 4, but the scenery too. Frost is the successor to the popular Dust survival mod for Fallout New Vegas. Frost doesn't just add snow to Fallout 4 though, it also adds a ton of gameplay. The mod transforms Fallout from a shooter RPG into a hardcore survival game. The goal is not to save Sean or complete all of the quests, it's strictly about staying alive. The mod is set just a few years after the bombs drop in Fallout lore, and 200 years before Fallout 4. As the name implies, Frost transforms the Commonwealth into a snowy waste. You won't be hoofing it over to Diamond City to find a thriving civilization, and you can say goodbye to Dogmeat. You won't even have to deal with Preston Garvey and all of the settlements that need your help, so already this mod sounds pretty appealing. Even without the base game's factions, NPCs, and its popular locations, there's still a ton to explore in Frost. You start out in the subway, where most of the Commonwealth lives. The land is largely uninhabitable because of all of the 
radiation. Still, you need food, medicine, and awesome loot, so you'll have to venture outside into this winter nightmare. Bring a gas mask to the surface, cause you'll die without one. You'll encounter plenty of foes as you explore and survive. Enemies are extremely deadly, but so are you. Human NPCs can be killed in just a few hits, no more bullet sponges. However, humans are far more aggressive, ghouls are littered throughout the world and have to be shot in the head to die, and while enemies take significantly less time to kill in this mod, you're as squishy as they are, so going in guns blazing isn't always the wisest decision. The surface isn't strictly a snowy version of Fallout 4 either. The mod adds a ton of new locations to explore too. There are also new weapons, armor, and enemies in the mod as well. Fallout 4 can be a bit silly at times, but Frost takes that all away. The atmosphere is depressing and brutal. Frost completely changes Fallout 4, so if you're looking for a brand new experience, be sure to try this one out. Before we get to our next mod, I want to remind you that the leaderboard gives away a console of your choice every week. To enter our weekly console giveaway, go to leaderboard.nyc slash giveaway and log in with virtually any internet account. For your best chance to win, you're gonna to want to subscribe to the leaderboard on YouTube and sign up for our email updates. You can also follow us on social media and tell your friends about the giveaway for even more chances to win. Now for a mod that lets you get retro. Revolted, the retro minigame. While Revolted is technically a mod, it makes Fallout 4 into an entirely new game. In fact, it's a game within a game. After downloading the mod, you'll make your way to a terminal inside the Concord Speakeasy. It will have Revolted booted up and ready to play. Start it up and you'll be transported to Revolted proper. If Quake and Fallout 4 had a baby, then Revolted would be it. You'll immediately notice that Revolted has a different look from Fallout 4. The characters are hexagonal and blocky. The game has cheesy sound effects and upbeat music that you'd expect from a 90s shooter. In this game, you're the overseer of Vault 102. An evil professor has taken control of the vault and you're going to run and gun your way through the vault to regain control. Running through Revolted's tight corridors while shooting at a variety of enemies often feels reminiscent of classic first-person shooters like Doom or Wolfenstein. And of course, what would a proper classic shooter be without platforming segments, door keys, and tons of blood? Maybe when you're looking to just have a short diversion from Fallout 4, why not jump into Revolted? This completely new transformative take on Fallout is something you'll really have to play to appreciate in its full glory. Modern Firearms. Getting tired of Fallout 4's regular arsenal of guns? Is the fat man just not doing it for you anymore? Well, Modern Firearms has got you covered. Modern Firearms adds literally dozens of new guns from the real world, and AK-47, M4, and the gigantic M60 are all there. Each gun is highly customizable. The mod includes a bunch of attachments for each one. With suppressors, scope magnifiers, and other attachments, Fallout 4 will start to feel a bit more like Battlefield than what it originally was. Also, as a little icing on the cake, Modern Firearms adds some great new clothing options to help fully embrace your new role as a gun nut. These guns are the envy of any quartermaster, and the firepower they pack in-game is insane. The mod makers made sure to include the proper ammo types, which accurately weigh about the same as the real thing. Don't think you can go around toting a huge arsenal without it weighing you down. That's the cost of firepower. Your new selection of guns is fully integrated into Fallout 4. You can purchase them from various vendors, find them as loot in containers, or steal them off of your enemies. The full release of the mod is expected to drop in... 2020? That's a, that's a while away, but don't worry though. Early access is available now and it's updated constantly. The next time you're wishing for a bit more firepower, you should give Modern Firearms a try. Airship, player home, and settlements. So here's a question. Why does the Brotherhood of Steel get to loom over the Commonwealth while the rest of us just suffer on the ground? If you've ever wondered this, then Airship is the right mod for you. Not only does the Airship, player home, and settlement mod give you your own personal airship akin to the Pridwin, but it lets you have a settlement too. The mod won't just give you the airship though. First, you have to infiltrate the Brotherhood of Steel's airship to steal their schematics. Once you have the plans, travel to Spectacle Island in the southeast side of the map. And that's not the only place your ship can go. After you've finished building, the aircraft can go to a dozen different places throughout the Commonwealth. Salem, Sanctuary, and even Far Harbor to name a few. Let the citizens of the Commonwealth know that you're always watching. On the outside, your new ship will appear to be a replica of the Pridwin, but look inside and you'll see that it's completely empty. Well, not completely empty. Part of the blimp is furnished with a lab captain's quarters, and the view is to die for. Maybe even cooler than having a giant blimp is that the mod also gives you your own vertibird. You'll be able to cruise the Commonwealth in style with the airship mod. Now you too can sneer at those chumps from the highest of horses. Or birds, I guess. America Rising, A Tale of the Enclave. America Rising, A Tale of the Enclave is an incredibly ambitious mod that brings a brand new two-hour adventure to Fallout 4. You might remember the Enclave as the lead antagonist of Fallout 3. Well, now 
you can join them in this mod. This mod brings an array of new quests to Fallout 4, adding a whole new arc. Thousands of lines of original dialogue were professionally recorded for America Rising. The developer implemented a bevy of features like brand new companions, new characters, and never before seen locations to make America Rising. The story is comprised of seven quests that you can play at any time. The quests seamlessly integrate into the main game. In one scenario, you'll be flown via Vertibird onto an oil platform filled with ghouls and mirelurks. Another one pits you against the Brotherhood of Steel to prove that the Enclave is the new sheriff in town. This mod is a labor of love. It adds a new faction and a lore-friendly story to the campaign and modifies the Brotherhood of Steel story arc to include more interaction with the Enclave. Some extra goodies include things like an Enclave-only radio station that Fallout 3 fans will remember. There's even an Enclave skin for your Pip-Boy. With random encounters and repeatable quests to boot, this mod is a game changer. This isn't even the end of it. America Rising has two more story acts on the way, so if you enjoyed this one, expect more in the future. Once again, I'm Jacob with the Leaderboard, and this has been Fallout 4 mods that totally transform your game. What mods have you found that are total game changers? Did we miss your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, consider subscribing or joining our notification squad so you can stay up to date on everything we're uploading. And hey, if you want to watch more Fallout 4 stuff or you just want to listen to my voice more, then we've got another video ready for you with seven facts about Fallout 4. But just for you, we threw in 100 more facts, so go check that out. Thanks for watching the leaderboard, your home for video game facts.